Hello everyone, it's PCLP here and today I'll be showing you how to fix hyping issue and online lag for the game Overwatch in few simple steps. So these steps will help you in getting the best out of your current internet connection while playing this game and most of the steps will be similar to the steps I've shown you in my videos on how to fix online lag on any other game except the port forwarding step as port varies from game to game. And just before starting with the first step, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now for regular gaming updates related to this game and many other games. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first step is a really important one and this one will be clean booting your PC. So what clean booting does is it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC too. So if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, I've already made a 4 minutes guide on how to do so. So make sure to watch this video. I'll provide you the link of this video in the description of this one. So make sure you watch this video, clean boot your PC and then proceed to the second step. It's a really important step. Make sure to clean boot your PC first. The second step is again a really important one and it really helps a lot of users. What you have to do is search for cmd and go to your command prompt and here search for ping, not search, you type ping 1.1.1.1 and press enter. Now let it calculate the average ping value for you and here it is, it is 9ms for 1.1.1.1 and now search ping space 8.8.8.8 and press enter. Let it calculate the value for this one. And here it is 26ms. As you can see the difference is really significant. Here the ping value is 9ms and here it is 26ms. And for you it might be 8.8.8.8 which would, would be better. In my case it's 1.1. So whichever is better for you, you have to change to that DNS value. Now I'll show you how to change your DNS server. Now search for network and go to view network connections. Once you open it, select the network which, which you are connected to right now. I'm connected to my Wi-Fi so I'll double click on it. And here I'll go to its properties and here go to internet protocol version 4 and double click on it and here obtain an IP address automatically and select use the following DNS service address. So for me better one was 1.1.1.1 so you have to enter the DNS which was better for you for me it was 1.1.1.1 and here type 1144. So for if for you the DNS server 8.8.8.8 was better so what you have to do is you have to enter here 8.8.8.8 and in the second line you have to enter 8.8.4.4 so just replace 1 by 8 and everything will be the same click on ok click on ok again and close this it will surely help you in getting better ping and resolving any online lag issues now let's proceed to the third step so in the third step, we'll be forwarding ports. So first we should know what ports are used in the game Overwatch. So Google Overwatch ports. And here go to this first link by portforward.com. And once you'll click on it, you'll be redirected to this page. Here scroll down and go to Overwatch PC. And under it you can see TCP and UDP ports written. So I'll provide you these ports in the description of this video so you don't have to go to this website. So just copy the TCP and UDP ports. But first what you have to do is you have to search for firewall and go to Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security as you can see this option and once you'll click on it you'll be redirected to this new screen and here go to Inbound Rules and in Inbound Rules create a new rule and here select Port click on Next and select TCP Port first and here copy everything in front of TCP I'll provide you this in the description so you can just copy it from there and once you've done it paste the TCP ports click on Next allow the connection Select everything here, domain, private, public, click on next, type overwatch, give it the name overwatch and once you have done it, finish. And once you have done it, again create a new rule, go to inbound rules, create new rule and this time we will be selecting UDP port. Select port, next and select UDP here. Once you have done it, copy everything in front of UDP from the description, copy this and paste it here. Once you have done it, click on next, allow the connection, select everything here, click on next, overwatch. Once you have given the name overwatch, finish it. And that's it for the third step and will surely help you in reducing ping issues and fixing online lag. And it will help you in getting the best out of your internet connection for this game. But if you are still facing lagging issues, then proceed to the last step. This step will be flushing DNS and later I'll refer you some videos which might help you in improving your PC's overall gaming performance. So first go to your command prompt again. And go to command prompt and here search for ipconfig ipconfig space slash flush dns. Once you have typed this, press enter and you can see successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. 
Once you have done it, your DNS has been flushed and if the first three steps didn't work for you, it will surely help you. Once you have done it and you are still having some lagging issues and not because of your internet connection but because of your PC specification, then what you can do is, you can download a game booster and the game booster I recommend is Razer Cortex Game Booster and it is not a paid promotion at all. It is just my personal experience that I find Razer Cortex to be the best one. So I've made a guide on how to download and install it and how to do advanced setup of this game booster for gamers only. So it is a bit complicated so make sure to watch this video, I'll provide you the link of this video in the description. And I've made another video specific to Nvidia users on how to do Nvidia control panel best settings for best gaming experience. So watch this video too and these two videos will help you in improving your PC's overall gaming performance. So once you have watched these two videos and performed the four steps, I'm sure you'll see a significant difference in your gaming performance. So I hope this worked for you. If this worked for you, please leave a like. Also don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you and have a nice day.